Hi, this is Frank Romano, Professor Emeritus at the Rochester Institute of Technology, to uh, present the fourth in our little series of introductions on uh, digital printing. And we're going to talk about wide format. Now, wide format began somewhere in the late 1990s uh, with an Epson machine that could do 24 inches wide. Uh, that, at that, before that, very few imaging devices could go that wide. Uh, their first application was for proofing, by the way, for printing. Uh, then someone discovered that they could do posters and other materials, and that opened up a new market, and the machines then went to 36 inches and 48 inches. Uh, today, you can have uh, some machines that go to 16 feet wide. Um, most of them tend to be with Hewlett Packard, but there are others around the world. And they're used for gigantic signage. Um, and in some cases, they take the 16 wide banner and they, they weld another 16 foot wide unit and another one, and they, they cover buildings with them. Some of the most interesting graphics ever. In fact, in California, in Los Angeles, they're trying to pass a law not to have these super boards, super, super billboards as they call them, or super graphics, uh, because they, they, many people driving on the highways then get distracted and there have been accidents. Now, the way they operate is just like your um, inkjet machine at home. You have your inkjet heads. Uh, here I have you know, cyan, yellow, magenta, and black. And in the white format machine, they move on a track. And we call them shuttle heads. So what they do is they go down, they lay down a swath of an inch or so of material of ink. Then when the, they get to the other side, the material advances, and then they do another inch or so the other way. Uh, then the material advances and they go the other way. By the way, what do you call it when this form of bi-directional printing is done? There's an interesting word, it's called boustrophedonic. It comes from the Greek as the ox plows. So you can impress your friends if you like with the boustrophedonic. But that's essentially how they worked, and, and still work, is, is with these bi-directional shuttle heads, as they're called. The inks in these machines uh, can be aqueous or eco-solvents. Uh, they can be solvent-based inks, that is oil. Uh, you want the solvent-based inks for outdoor materials, or UV sometimes for outdoor materials. Um, aqueous inks have been mostly used for indoor materials, although some of the new eco-solvents um, essentially create um, uh, an ink that can be used outdoors. The machines are either roll-fed or flatbed. Those that are flatbed can handle thicker materials, so they can handle very heavy uh, substrates, including up to glass and plastic in, in many cases. Um, a lot of signage is done on canvas. There's a big movement now towards synthetic materials, uh, materials that, that, that are weatherproof and tear-resistant. Um, what do we use wide format for? Well, it's opened up phenomenal new markets for signage, for banners, backdrops, uh, scenery. Um, we're also printing textiles. Uh, you can use this technology to print um, uh, uh, your curtains, if you so desire, floor tiles. Uh, but if we stay with the normal materials that we're using for indoor materials, you, you get into wonderful graphics that can be used in a variety of ways and posters. If you're don't, going to do a poster, you really don't want to put it on paper or something that's going to tear. You might want to put that on a synthetic material that's less likely to tear. Uh, what's going to happen in the future? Well, these machines are going to move into the area of single pass. That is, all the heads will be arrayed along the top, so you won't have shuttle heads. So the machines will get faster as they, uh, they, they uh, print on wide format materials. It has been a phenomenal market for those getting into it. Almost every printer today has seen wide format as an opportunity for them because the signage market continues to grow. Perhaps into the future, uh, we may see uh, new kinds of materials. Uh, we may see a more outdoor use. In fact, right now, as you know, they, they coat, cover uh, buses and cars uh, with this, they call them wraps. Uh, there's new kind of signage that you can actually put on on, on surfaces that are irregular, like brick or rock, and it adheres to it, and then you can take it off at, at some point and re redo it if you so desire. So the phenomenal new opportunities uh, that wide format gives you. So in this series, we've talked about digital printing, both high heat toner for documents um, and publications, uh, with uh, uh, our toner that's liquid in nature, the Hewlett Packard Indigo, uh, which is used for the same kinds of markets, including labels. Uh, then for document-based inkjet and now wide format or signage-based uh, or, or display-based graphics. It's a very interesting new world of digital printing. Welcome to it. Take care.